the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia is now in session. The wheels of international justice may turn painfully slowly, but they do still turn, and at least some of those leaders who commit crimes against humanity one day pay a price. It's 24 years since this man, Radovan Karadzic, embarked on a brutal war in Bosnia. He was the leader of the Bosnian Serbs who ordered the siege of Sarajevo. 21 years ago, men under his command murdered 8,000 Muslim men and boys at Srebrenica, the worst act of genocide since World War II. Mr. Karadzic. Could you please stand? Today he was cleared of one charge of genocide, but that did nothing to mitigate the list of crimes he was Count convicted one. of. Count two, genocide. Count three, persecution, a crime against humanity. Count four, extermination, a crime against humanity. Count five, murder, a crime against humanity. The or sentence for these and six more counts means this 65-year-old should die in jail. To a single sentence of 40 for zero years of imprisonment. Survivors, relatives and victims of Karadzic filed out of the courtroom having watched the verdicts. Among them a man who'd been imprisoned in one of the camps first revealed to the world by ITV News back in 1992. He was happy, but the acquittal on one of the two charges of genocide hurt badly. But the 11th one is, was about genocide in Priedor, where I come from, and, and other municipalities in, back in 92, in the time when, when actually the whole process of genocide started and ended with Srebrenica. Karadzic's lawyer emerged to say his client continued to maintain his innocence and would appeal. How could he claim that what happened at Srebrenica was not genocide? He claims he didn't know that prisoners uh, would be were being or had been executed after the fall of Srebrenica. Appeals and more hearings can only drag out the agony for those who lost sons, brothers, fathers at Srebrenica. Though concern for the victims has never been a priority for Karadzic or those who worked with him. Ten guilty verdicts out of eleven, but that one acquittal has been deeply disappointing to these survivors. They wanted the court to recognize that the whole Bosnian war was a war of ethnic cleansing and genocide. James Mates, ITV News, The Hague.